Hey everybody, Andrew Ford here. Today I want to show you something really cool. If you've read my other blog posts, then you know that I use exposure to tone roughly 90% of my photos. But did you know you could use exposure to tone video? I'm going to show you how right now. Okay, so here we are in Adobe Photoshop CC 2014. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to File and Open as Smart Object. Now the reason I'm choosing Open as Smart Object is because Smart Objects preserve the file's source content. It also enables you to perform non-destructive edits to the layer. Smart Objects can also let us use filters for effects like those from Exposure. Okay, so once you, uh, once you open for Smart Object, uh, I'm going to go to Desktop and I have all my files here in Video and I'm going to choose my video, CUI.move. This is just a behind the scenes video from a recent shoot that I had. There's our lovely model Angelica and I was using the Westcott Eyelighter. Now one thing you might notice is there's no video segments. What we need to do is we have to pull up our video timeline. Uh, the way you do that is you go up to Window, scroll all the way down to the bottom here, it's Timeline. And then all you have to do is hit this little button, Create Video Timeline. And there's our video timeline. If we now hit the space bar, it's going to preview the clip. Uh, it will run a lot slower than normal. That's normal. Don't be afraid. Okay, so what I want to do now is just kind of, I'm just going to drag and kind of shuttle through uh, to see what bits and pieces of the clip I want to grab. Uh, that was kind of cool. She's flicking her hair there. So let's, uh, let's grab that little kind of area here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab and drag to trim the front. And we don't need a whole lot of this. So we'll just go a couple, couple frames. Click and drag the back just like so. And then I'll just move this over. to the front of my timeline, right in there. Pull this back, move that up to zero, and hit spacebar again to preview, and there's the start of our clip. One, two, three, and there she goes. Okay, so as you can see here, we have this little icon over here, which lets us know that it's a uh, it's a smart object that just double clicked and there we have like our little video layer. Oop, I'm sorry about that. So the first thing I want to do is I want to tone the image. That's what it's about. So I'm going to use exposure, exposure six. So I'm going to go up to uh, filter, alien skin, exposure six. Okay, and there's the last frame that we were on. So what I want to do is I'm going to go to this cinema feature here. And as you can see, the previews are awesome. Uh, here's a bleach bypass, kind of a cool effect. Jaws, orange skin, summer blockbuster, Technicolor. Uh, it's, and you know, the, the opportunities are endless of what we can do here. So uh, I think I like this bleach bypass. So I'm going to select that. Uh, we control the overall intensity over here, just with this slider. So, uh, and we'll keep that at 100. We can change the contrast. Bring contrast all the way down is kind of cool. Let's bring the shadows up maybe a little bit. Bring the shadows down. Okay, and all we have to do is hit apply. And as you can see, that runs, and there's the effect. You can see right here, Smart Filters, Exposure 6. Turning on the eye, we can enable, enable a filter. Uh, it will take a second, and then if we hit Spacebar, again, you can see that it's going to run, but it's going to take a very long time. Just because it is video, it's a lot of information. But again, that also depends on your computer speed. All right, so I'm happy with the toning of the video. The final step is to export. A good rule of thumb is to match your export settings with the original clip. 
Luckily, most of the file details, like the size and frame rate, are already set for you, and I'll show you that right now. What you want to do is you want to go to File, Export, and Render Video. A new window pops up. We're going to rename our layer. We're just going to call it Alien Skin Test. Select your folder. Uh, select the format. Hi. As you can see, my frame rate here is set to 23.97. If you look down here in the lower left, the frame rate matches. Next, all we have to do is hit render. As a warning, the render process does take a while, so feel free to go make yourself a cup of coffee and relax. I've closed Photoshop and opened the final video. As you can see, each frame has our effect on it, and it looks pretty terrific. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial on how to tone video by using Alien Skin Exposure. For more, check out my website www.andrewfordphotography.com.